Hello and welcome back to the channel. Yes, you're watching Denchi and we're playing Starfield. We've had an absolute nightmare because uh, part seven that, we, well, that you're watching now, um, I had already recorded um, before and it was two hours and 44 minutes long. Once I stopped recording, my SSD died. Unbelievable. So the recording was lost forever. So this is the closest save I could find without going all the way back to, um, I think we were level 12, the previous save before this. Um, I think from now on I'm going to be saving at the end of every uh, recording. But uh, that being said, so the the idea was that we um, uh, we've been we were told uh, that uh, so okay so yeah uh, Vladimir uh, told us uh, about an artifact that was being held by um, Petrov, uh, who's a I guess. Another um, adventurer that that collects stuff, uh, and he has one of the artifacts in his collection. Um, so we've had to travel to his ship, which is called the Scow. We've um, had to do some uh, persuasion to let us board onto his ship because he wasn't having any visitors. Uh, we found the captain himself and spoken to him, and then we had to persuade him to um, show us his collection uh, by, uh, by by essentially saying to him that his collection wasn't um, impressive enough for, to show us and he kind of um, caved in and went, oh right, I'll, I'll show you my collection, it is pretty impressive. Uh, so he's taken us down into the collection vault uh, and opened up the artifact. Um, so we followed him down, and this, our next um, area here is the artifacts on this little plinth thing. Um, obviously, uh, if we st well, we've got an option. We can either walk away because Barrett's just standing over there, or we can steal it and see what happens next. Um, so what we're going to do, I think we're going to steal it. That'll be our next option. Let's yoink. Yeet! Where are you running off to? I surrender! I surrender! Don't kill me! Okay, tell your crew to stand down. The captain's word is good. Done! Stand down, everyone. Let the nice pirate pass. Take a break. Let's chat. Get out now. Take a break. Let's chat. Okay. We're gonna loot whatever we can can here. Ooh, prototype equipment. I'll take that. Nah, nah. So here's a glitch that I found in um, Starfield. Um, there are a number of glitches that I found in Starfield, to be fair. Um, one of them is um, a gap glitch in these doors. So we can either... Well, we can, I guess we can open it. Or... Um, if the doors are locked, if you can just shimmy your way sideways enough to get to the little crack, it highlights the mannequin. So once you click on the mannequin, you can select what's in there without opening the doors. <laughs> Which is um, pretty impressive. So that's uh, kind of a hack one. In Starfield. All right. Okay, expert. So that same hack doesn't really work for uh, for the helmet cases. Check that out. Piggy bank, videotapes. 
What on earth is that? Is that a CCTV camera? And an Apple... Apple Mac. Only a matter of time. Well, there's nothing I need around here. All the guards are standing down for now. Oh, here's another thing you can do as well. See these pins? If you shoot them. Or you can hit them with a with something. Uh it opens the door. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Damn pirate. Get what you came for and leave. Alright, it's chill. Um So what? We're just gonna let you keep the ship? I think you are. Uh take all that. Some more stuff in the collection here. So we've got some impact grenades. Some random tools. Oh, there's a little container here. Shrapnel grenade. Cryo. Take all that. Try that again, a little trick. And again, go out. Damn it, Petrov. I was just getting warmed up. Um, okay, let's get into this one. That's a dud key. Um, okay, we got those. Then we got a tripler, that one. That works. That doesn't work.
Oh, we might have messed up here. Maybe not. Maybe. We are. I think we're good. Well, it looks like the job of a doubler and a single. There's no other one which fits. And just quickly look at the inner uh, for the inner. Inner, we can do that, and then maybe a double doesn't work for us. Maybe a triple or a tripler. Tripler works. Okay, and then I need another three. That one. I can use this one. And then this one on this. Sorry, this one on this. Ooh, just out. Hmm. Hold on, that's one. Where's that one on that. And then that one on. Ah, oh, there you go. Gotcha. So these two are the inner. <coughs> Have a look what we got. one on a single. All right. All right, let's get out of here. You're lucky the captain's a coward. If it were me, I'd say you go a few more rounds. But it ain't you, is it? Notepad. 
nothing of uh, value for us to take. Just a mannequin. If you have time, I've been thinking about some things. To talk sure you have. Head back to uh, Alpha Centauri. There's a lodge. you can do as well, even if you're nowhere near your ship, uh, if you press X, uh, go into the cargo, you got all your ship cargo items in here. If you uh, hold down um, left, or is it LB? Yeah, it's called LB. Uh, you can cycle through ship or your uh, inventory. So if you look at your inventory, what you're allowed to do is store this on the ship without even being near the ship. Well, this is the stuff that's uh, currently on the ship. This is what I've got uh, at hand. Actually, one more thing before we, we do this here. There's a glitch that we found. So, here we go. Infinite money glitch. So at the moment, as you can see, we have, where's our, um, let's go to the ship. How much money? Uh, how much money do we have? Let's go to our inventory. Okay, we've got 99,000 credits, yeah? So, so on 99,411. So what you do is... Make sure you got a boost pack on. You have to go over to where the distribution center is. Uh, so we'll just do that in a uh, right now. A second, I'm over encumbered. Uh... Oh, oh, look at this. It's a new one that I just picked up. Coachman got a All right. We'll have to do this encumbered.
So there's a little area just there. There's a glitch <laughs> in this game where if you go to that door there, which that's overgrown, got leaves and everything all over it, um, you just fall through the door. And uh, you literally go off the map. So let's, let's quickly show you this. I guess my man wasn't designed for swimming, was he? Right, let's uh, get some. Gorgeous weather today, huh? Is looking for the young, bright minds of the future. Apply to there, regain some oxygen. So what you do, get on this tree. You have to climb up here. Hold on, let me just uh, wait for my boost to get back. Oh shoot. <laughs> Noises. There you go. Right. So what you can do, you can land on this little branch and have a little rest. Um, like so. And then wait for your boost to get back. There we go. Now, now that you've got up here, this area here is uh, glitched. So technically, if we jump, we literally fall through the map. <laughs> We're underneath everything. So what you do is, um, there's... So everything in this map is all interlinked, right? Um, And uh, if you go to the uh, spaceport, so I'm sorry, I'm just uh, stopped here because I'm looking at this bank to see if there's anything, any chests in here. But there's not. So if you go to the spaceport, um, there's a vendor there uh, who sells you ship supplies and whatnot. Um, and you're, and because you're glitched through the floor, you're able to get close enough to the chest to take the vendor's money essentially because the the vendor's chest is on is only shown um well it's it's based underneath the map i guess it's just the way they, they built it so you can see the space bolt over here um, so what you need to do is get down as safely as possible, obviously. <laughs> you don't want to launch yourself to, to your death. Um, there's a little platform thing here. There we go. Um, so... Here's a, here's a really good example. So, this is the coffee shop, and in the game you're at at the on, on their level, right? So how the game how the well, how Bethesda's made has built it is that um, rather than having the vendors have a virtual wallet, um, everything has to be physical. So what they do is they, they put the vendor's chests underneath the floor so the player can't see it uh, when they're playing the game normally. But if you glitch through under the floors, 
uh, you can see the vendors' chests here, and if you go, if you get to them, you can see we can literally take everything out of this chest. Uh, they've, only, they've only got 1,500 credits, but um, they have literally every single type of cup. I mean, not that we want any cups, but uh, let's credits. Go for it. So we've taken those credits. There's another uh, credit chest just down here. I'm not sure if we can get to it though. Oh yes, we can. There you go. Watch. They have 5,000 credits. They've got a lot of artillery as well and ammunition. Got lots of things. Oh, this is the... Should we just take everything? Cutter. We got five spacesuits. Uh, not that we need any. Crew packs. Uh, we got some helmets. Don't need anything else from there. Um, so, yeah. So, if you get to the spaceport, um, the space vendor seems to hold the most. Uh, Cash out of uh, all the vendors. So, if we get to the spaceport area, it should be just over here. There it is. There's the. Uh, so there's there's our ship there. There's the vendor. Now, be able to <laughs> look at that. 87,000 credits. We're underneath the spaceport with 87,000 credits. We can take those credits. There you go. Credits taken. We can prove that we've got those credits. Uh, let's go to our inventory. There you go. 193,000. That gives us enough money to build or buy a spaceship. Uh, so we can, we, we can literally glitch so there's no restrictions in, in coming through the floor upwards, but there's restrictions uh, obviously going down through the floors. So if we jump up um, around here, hold on a second. There you go. If we actually go to this vendor, got anything you need to offload, Trader Thor? Anything I can help you with? Um, I'd like to see what you got for sale. I'm Let's... sure you can find something you like. You can see in the vendor credits, he has zero, zero money. Now, that's all great, and but there's one thing, one one thing else you can do, which is pretty awesome. So if you go to your ship, um, if you want. Uh, if you want to cycle um, and basically have infinite money, you can you can loot, re loot that that, set, that same chest over and over again by going to a certain planet. So if you go to um, I think it's I think it's Venus, uh, the time on Venus um, is different from any other planet. So if you go to here, we zoom out. If you go to, where is it?
Bumpkin. The map itself. Uh... Okay, we're in the wrong area. <laughs> Soul. Ah, there it is. So we need to set a course for Venus. Take a jump there. Tell me what's going on here. I've been authorized to inform you that you are being transferred to the UC Vigilance. You'll find out more when you get there. Other than that, I'm not at liberty to divulge any additional information. Uh, okay. Um, what about my ship? We have orders to transport you and your vessel to your final destination. Any deviation from those orders on your part will be considered an act of hostility. Stand down. Stand by to be boarded and transferred. Uh. Okay, we shall be back to Venus. I wonder if we can just pay this, these dudes off. I'm telling you, the commander's got plans for this loser. Why else would he be going through all this trouble? I still don't understand why he trusts the criminal. Seems like too much of a risk. Hold on, are they, they taking all my weapons? Stop worrying and keep an eye on our guest, and I'll be right back. Literally taking all my You'll bullets. You just sit tight. The commander wants to have a little chat. The prisoner is ready, sir. Uh, just let me pay him fine and get Not out of here. This time. What do you mean? So let me see what we're working with here. Hm. It appears you spent several years as a bounty hunter. No, I was that a miner. Type of background will get you quite far around here. I also see that you've mined on Vectera. Yeah. And now you're with Constellation. Yeah. You've certainly been quite busy. Oh, and look at that. Right at the bottom of this list is the criminal incident that landed you in my crosshairs. What criminal incident? But <laughs> let's just get to the I point. Will, when I'm ready. Now that we have that out of the way, let me introduce uh, you. My name is Commander Kibwe Ikande. I'm in charge of this operation for UC Sysdev. Are you familiar with what we do? No. Why didn't you tell me? UC Sysdev is a division of the UC Navy. Well, they handle the big picture stuff, we deal with a very particular problem. The Crimson Fleet. That convict is where you enter the picture. 
Uh, I have nothing to do with the criminal no. fleet. No, you don't. Not yet, anyway. We've been prodding at the Crimson Fleet for years, trying to take them down one ship at a time. But we barely scratch the surface. If we can get someone on the inside, we have a shot at finding a loose thread we can pull to bring it all down. Uh, you want to risk my neck for you to go un undercover? Why can't you see some of the armada to wipe the Crimson Fleet? If the military rolls in and attacks the Crimson Fleet, we'd have a full-scale war on our hands. That means losses, heavy losses, that the United Colonies can't afford. So you want to Not risk my neck? For yourself. Look, I'm going to make this simple. Agree to work for UCC Stiff, and together, we take down the Crimson Fleet. Refuse, and I tell these guys to throw you into the nearest lockup. Might even tack on an extra few hundred credits to your fine. Uh, I'm I'm more than happy to pay the fine, mate. Honestly. Uh, doesn't sound like much of a choice. You can't get rid of that. Didn't realize coercion as a part of UC Sysdef's code of ethics. If I work for Sysdef, what's in it for me? Well, first of all, We'll forget about the infraction that landed you on the vigilance. What? Better still, depending on how well you do your job, we'll even kick in a few extra credits to offset any cost that the operation will incur. Okay. Or, you can throw all that away and end up back in jail with a hefty fine attached. Uh, doesn't sound like much of a choice. Of course you have a choice. It's just stacked in my favor. So, what do you say? Uh, yeah, whatever. Well, well, let's do it. I'm going to have one of my men escort you to the operations center. I strongly suggest that you don't give him any trouble. Does and it, don't bother trying to leave the ship. I think you'll find all access to the docking area is fully restricted. Get out of my way. Sweet cheeks. Fucking pause. Da -da -da. Occupied ready clearance authority there. Authorized UC ships only. Uh Captain Dunchi. Okay. Well, my ship is here. Right. I'm following you. Come on then. All right. This is as far as I go. Take the lift up to Ops. Commander Ikande should be waiting for you. Yes. Now that we've established your level of cooperation with us, I want to introduce you to your new home. This is the operation center of the UC Vigilance. Sysdef's nerve center dedicated to the destruction of the Crimson Fleet. Um... 
Which is precisely why we're taking a more clandestine approach. We need eyes and ears inside the Crimson Fleet. Someone who can feed us information, evidence, and expose their weaknesses. The catch is that you can't just knock on their front door and ask for an application. Getting inside is going to take some finesse. Persuasion. I have just the right place for you to start. Our intelligence has managed to find a possible opening into the Crimson Fleet through Sersha Bowden, one of their contacts. She works for the Trade Authority in Sidonia, so you'll be using a container of Aurora we've loaded on your ship to get her attention. And... Uh, Aurora is the contraband or the illegal drug. Uh, sounds simple enough. You better hope so. Sersha won't be easy to dupe. Once you block your way into the Crimson Fleet, then the operation proceeds to evidence gathering. That's where my second in command, Lieutenant Gillian Toft, comes into the picture. She'll explain everything you need to know. On the way it'll you be got done. To get going. Yeah. Remember, this entire operation rests on your ability to infiltrate the Crimson Fleet and bring us the evidence we need to take them down. I'll do my best. I wouldn't expect any less. Look, before you begin, I want to make something. As Perfectly an undercover clear. operative for UC Sysdev, you'll be expected to follow our code of conduct, yeah. allow yourself to stray too far off the path, and you stand a good chance of spiraling out of control. Mm, don't you like chaos? I'll stay the course. Yeah. That's what I wanted to hear. Anyway, good. it's time to hand you over to Lieutenant Toft. Now, get out of here. And good, good luck. luck. Thank you. I uh, don't care. It. Of all things, a bloody side mission has been... Yes. Triggered. Pardon. All right. Where's Tofty? Uh, docking port. That's not. Oh yes, it is. Docking port one. Docking port three, ship status are unoccupied, ready. Huh. So, how do I... Is this toft? Well, let's do it. Ikande's on level two. Try not to touch anything until he actually clears you. Ah, oh, great. Do I need to get clearance from him? Howdy. Where is he? Is that him? Yes. What? I thought it was clear that Lieutenant Toth should be your next stop. Yeah. I'll maintain contact That's with you. That's easy to answer. You don't. We'll okay. be monitoring your activities from the vigilance and attempting to keep it within your vicinity. When you feel you've gathered enough evidence and at the completion of your assignments, head back here for a debrief. Beyond that, you're completely on your own. Um, what happens if I get arrested and cover? Can I tell can you tell me more about expected behavior as an agent? Great. You have your orders. Right, where is Toft? Hold on. Um, go to deep cover, set course. Set course. Ah, uh, show me.
find the wall behind the vault. Huh? Ah, oh, we not do that. Oh dear me. Okay, where is Toft? Okay. Um, Hello. It's not Toft. You're not Toft. That's just assist death guard. Hey. Lieutenant Toft is as organized as they come. You can be sure she'll keep our T's crossed and guns loaded. Where the hell is she, though? Five status unoccupied. Six. Sorry, seven states unoccupied. I can't even open the door. Are you toft? Hello. Petty officer. Requires computer. Uh, security. Go on. I wouldn't leave the commander waiting. It's high level. Uh, okay. Transfer protocol. Handcuffs and under guard escorts are standard. Transporting prisoners. So you're telling me I can't ah. interrogation break? Are you Toft? Where's Toft? Tofters. Got some dumbbells. Right. It's cargo. Young recruit. Ikande's on level two. Try not to touch anything until he actually clears you. It's like walking down the aisle. Nothing starts until you say the words. Just don't kiss the bride. So is there another way of getting there? No, it's telling me to go down in the lift. What the hell is going on? Pirate operations. Uh, okay. Comes off the tactics, is an old saying. Uh, Okay. Personal documents. State of the vigilance. Crimson f state of the vigilance. As speaking with Commander Natara, Lieutenant Toft has assured me that protect assured me that Project Sylvan has been fully tested by the engineers of SY920 and approved by MAST. If everything goes according to plan, we will begin implementation immediately. When the time comes, this upgrade will be essentially for what has been planned. Upgrade? Interesting. Resolve on purpose.
Just that uniform. Alright, I'm one of the boys. Oh, hold on. He's downstairs, but here. Colony System Defense at your service. Pardon. Benson. <laughs> can, can we fly? Ah, oh, I can't me. fly it. Jump seat. Hello. Howdy. Hello. Sis Def Marines are the best of the best. That was a beautiful hour spent observing you guys. Excuse me. You're excused. Captain's locker requires a key. Howdy. So we haven't found what we need to find. Oh, there's bottles. Nice. I'm a bit busy at the moment, but we'll talk later, okay? I'm a bit busy at the moment, but we'll talk later, okay? Okay, all oh, these turrets. It must be some kind of computer system somewhere. Yes. Hey. Oh, there she is. Jesus. Christ. All right. We don't have a lot of time, so I need you to listen up. While you're working undercover, it's imperative that you gather as much evidence as possible. If you find any records that look suspicious or incriminating, you bring it to me. Is that understood? Think so. Well, you better. Commander Akande's entire operation is resting on your shoulders. I want data slates, computer downloads, handwritten notes. Hell, I'll take anything if it'll get those bastards thrown into the brig. Should we go to security? For the sake of the settled systems, I hope you're right. That minor skirmish you had with them on Vectera was nothing compared to the death and destruction those pirates leave behind. If you've seen what I've seen, you'd understand why I'm pushing you so hard. I'll, I'll bring as much as That's I can. That's all we're asking. Oh, before you go, there's one more thing. Commander Akande has authorized a credit disbursement for each piece of evidence that you return. As compensation for your efforts.
Hmm? Yes. Commander Akande mentioned that when he proposed the idea. Lucky you. All right. We've loaded a container of Aurora into your ship's cargo hold. We're also providing you with a sample you can use to tease the goods. We've cleared your ship for launch. Proceed to Sidonia. Make contact with Searsha Bowden. And with any luck, she'll point you to the Crimson Fleet. That should do it. You're dismissed. I'll be here if you have any more questions. Right. Well, Hello. <clears throat> okay. I can't show you the tricks of Venus because um, now it looks like I've got contraband on my ship. So um, before we go back to <laughs> back to Alpha, Alpha Centauri, um, where they will be scanning my ship. Um, let's let's just quickly do this mission. Where have you been? All right, that's about how you doing, Hella? Who's missing? Hey, so. you need something? Oh, so two. I've only got two crew ship. Fly a bit better, can't you? Um, right. <clears throat> no, hold on a second. No sudden moves. Uh, proceed to Sidia. It looks like we've been here before. Do what we'll do. to speak to who is it? Speak to Sarusi Bowden. Get out of this apparel. There we go. Back in normal attire. Always nice to kick back in the broken spear after a long day. Talk to me if you reckon you can hack it as a bounty hunter. I could use a break. 
How it goes. <clears throat> Servant drinks here for over 40 years. Not everyone needs to come to me with their problems. Mm hmm? Trade Authority. There we go. If you're here to buy or sell, you might want to talk to Octai. I'm busy. I'm here to tell, but I'm looking for you. Hmm. Wouldn't be the first time I've heard that line. Oh, don't give me that look. I'm just having a laugh. What have you got for me? Hmm. Aurora, huh? Nice. A little too hot to handle, though. What else you got? Um, uh, really? You can't handle it, put me All I'm going to point at is the ceiling, with my middle finger. Get that stuff out of here before UC security catches on. Of course, if there's a finder's fee you're offering, I might, well, bend the rules a little bit. You know, it's funny. Suddenly, I do remember someone who might be able to unload that stuff for you. There's a buddy of mine who runs with the Crimson Fleet. Goes by the name Adler Kemp. If he isn't passed out, you can find him killing the rest of his brain cells at the Broken Spear. Oh, and uh, it's been a pleasure doing business with you. All right. Um... To find the broken spear. Has been climbing the charts. Meg Horizon is a fictionalized account of a Meg pilot whose dizzying career has her face off with the UC. Oh, and you're leading an assault on your P1. Looks kind of like a community center. Horace and I may disagree on matters of faith, but we both try to do what we can to help those who feel lost without them. Horace is good people, but I prefer Joy's line of thinking. I have a pen pal in New Atlantis. We've never met in person, but she's still one of my best friends. What a day, huh? If you know anyone in need of food or shelter, please send them my way. The Sanctum Universum will provide. I wish there was more to do around here. Drinking gets old. Being a miner is dreary. Being a mining executive is just weak. Go to Mars, they you said. Talk to me. The pay is great, they said. So it's the crippling depression. Hello. 
Lux condos aren't anything special, but plenty of people call them home. Residential are seeking to allow home-based businesses. This seemingly simple request has brought bitter controversy that seems no closer to resolution. After one meeting was broken up by a shouting match between citizens on both sides of the issue. It better not be that pub though, the very first one. The Red Devils used to train here on Mars. Imagine being part of that. We'll be ready in case there's ever another colony. Ah, oh, it's just broken. Mars of all places. Jesus. Broken some beer. Oh, hey, it's my personal savior. Thanks again for the assistance. 
Am I glad I got this job instead of mining some dead rock? Out of the middle of nowhere? All right. Worker satisfaction has been trending upwards recently. Taking their psychological concerns into account. Let's do. Out the camp. Unless you're here to serve me another drink, you can turn around and walk away. Oh, yeah? Well, I don't know who the hell you are. So what makes you think I'm going to help you out? Hey, why don't you say that a little louder? I don't think every single UC guard in Sedonia heard you! Uh, okay. Okay. Yeah, I think we can help you with this. If you've got a whole shipment of this stuff, you're going to need to move it fast. But you're going to have to do something right. for us first. Right down to business! And no small talk. I like it. Now listen up, because I'm not going to repeat myself. I need you to deal with a miner who's racked up a bunch of debt. He probably spent it all on booze, not that I blame him. Either way, I want that money back. Uh, right. Alright. Perfect. His name's Carl Fielding. I think you'll find him wandering around the Deimos Miners' quarters. Don't worry, you can't miss him. Just look for the most miserable looking guy in the entire place. We're still pulling up huge mineral deposits after a rest. I'm wondering if it was that, that dude that we saw before. I can help you with. Adler Kemp. Who the heck is that? Adler, you said? Uh, nope. I think you have me mixed up with someone else. <laughs> uh, look, I'm tired. It's been a long day in the mines. I just want to go home, wash off the dust, and relax. This has been fun, though. Here we Whatever. go. All right, so I'll go back into our lease. Adler, uh, Adler, Adler. Oh, wait. You mean that, Adler? Yeah, sorry. I thought you were talking about someone else. <laughs> I told him I'd pay up next week when Deimos cuts our next profit share check. I'll even bring it to him personally. Hmm? Sound good? No. Yeah? Uh, that's not good enough. Uh, well, I mean, he doesn't really have a choice. Look. I, I haven't got a single credit to spare right now, okay? You can't squeeze blood from a stone. You know? Right? Um, I don't play games. What games? Why are you doing this to me? I don't have the money. Uh, is it really worth the risk? Sure. I, I guess I, I could ask for a seven-day shift. I don't know. Please, tell Adler I'm sorry for trying to wiggle out of the debt. I didn't have much of a choice. Well, 
Let's go back to Adler. I knew that bum was holding out on me. He going to be a problem anymore? Or did he get the message? He got the message. Nice. Nice! You're kind of a natural at this. Leaning on deadbeats comes easy to you. I like that. You know, if you like this kind of work, I can get you more. A lot more. You think you can handle running with my, uh, associates? Uh, yeah, I'm interested. I don't know, maybe. Yeah, if, if you think they can handle me. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. I like your style. All right. I'll call ahead and get a hold of Neva Mora. She's second to the big boss himself. Head out to Europa. You'll find her there. I suggest you listen to whatever she has to say. Oh, and I've taken care of that Aurora shipment for you, too. Don't spend all that cash in one place. A friend offered me a nice cushy office job. Anything untoward? Okay. Let's see. Can we get to Venus? Um, right. Set the landing target. Set course to Venus? Yes. Travel. Before we get into battle, let's just land. <laughs>
So now we can go to How are you, Dusty? any one of our consoles here. Um, Just here for a chat? So here we're taking up and look at look at the time difference there. One local hour is 100 UT hours. So if we do a full day, that's 24,000 hours passed by elsewhere in the world. So if we sleep for that period, the time, one we get a full day's rest. Two um, the vendor's boxes are all replenished in in other in other places, especially on um, uh, at the spaceport by the lodge. So once this gets to to zero and we've slept. We shall head back to uh, back to the lodge, do the glitch, and then uh, you should be able to see um, it's Alpha Centauri. So here's a tree. Uh, well, that's new. The trees disappeared. <laughs> Okay, there'll be another way here. Um, so, should be a ledge we can... See if I've got another pack. Uh, that one. Airborne plus 10. Airborne 20. Feet mining, let's do feet mining pack. See if that We can get get there a different way. Oh, Jesus. Let's uh, change our oh, pack again.
can't believe that tree is this weird. <laughs> This little branch again. Right, we're back up here. So we go to the same place again. We fall down. Uh, we find the vendors. Uh, there they are walking around. Enjoying their days. Um, what we need to do is essentially get to the spaceport. Um, so while we're regaining some health. I believe this tree has been removed already. Oh, well, you can still get up there. Uh, if I get up onto this wall, there you go. The idea is to get up onto this little ledge here. But if you boost the pack to recharge, jump again. Get over. There we go. Oh, Jesus. Fractured limbs. <laughs> Never mind. Uh, so, yeah. Let's turn around. Let's just head across. We're over incumbent. Uh, let's do penance special arms. That should help us. Uh Interesting. They fixed this glitch. They have, you know. <laughs> I think they fixed the glitch. Ah. 
Very interesting. I mean, I'm, I'm intrigued now. Ah, I did catch that little ledge. If you catch onto here, it should be good. There you go. Let's get our booster pack back. Boost our way up. All right, let's see. again. be able to get down. See if we can take this route. Well, there's a spaceport over there. As you can see, these vendors have got all these all the credits back again, so we can go back around, collect their credits without them knowing, obviously. Oh, 
this looks very different. They've done something here. There's the vendor that we're looking for. Yep. And there's his uh, box. <laughs> and as you can see, he's got 72,000 credits. We can take those. And. reality and that's essentially how you basically cycle through um, obviously we've just found a new way through uh, Bethesda must have done some kind of update where they removed the tree but that being said there, there was another way we found through um, so all you do is you, you go to this chest collect the money go in your ship go to Venus Stay there for 24 hours, come back and do it, and do it again, and there's your infinite money loop. You're welcome. You've been watching Danchi. <laughs> Alright, let's get back to the mission at hand. Um, ah, we've got a status effect. Incoming damage increase. Oh, sorry, intense pain. Lovely. Um, what have we've got. Let's have a look. Med supplies. Convert everything from breakages. There you go. Fractured limb cured. Amazing. Should we swap this out? Where is it? Uh, Assassin's Wolf. We'll swap that out with this bolster. So we can get rid of it. Can we? In fact, let's ask this. Let's, uh, let's go to the ship vendor. I know he's got no money. Need some? Anything I can help you with? My ship needs some repair. No, I'm not repairing my ship. I'd like to view and modify my ships. Okay. Sure. So, How about it? the shield generator. Oh, we don't have enough credits for that. Holy moly. Let's go with what we've got so far. Ah, hold on. Make home ship. Your piloting skills are too low for the... What, what do you mean? My piloting skills are too low for this ship. Oh, yeah, whatever. Are you having a... Are you having a laugh? Uh...
I will tell you. Ah, oh, you are kidding me. Unlock the ability to pilot Class B ships, Class C ships. So what class? What class is my ship? What have I bought? I bought a Class B ship. Chat. Oh dear. Okay. You know what? Whatever. You do you. Looks, <laughs> looks like we need to upgrade <laughs> once uh Oh no. Is this right? We Let's see what we're we doing. Um okay, no sudden moves. Let's Should drop us outside the ah, oh, maybe not. Maybe not. I thought it dropped us outside the lodge, but it doesn't. Okay, looks like we need to um, upgrade our piloting skills. I didn't think that would be a barrier, but uh, I guess it is. the space balls and go to mast uh, district uh, is it mast district? I think it's mast district By the way, the power we're using at the moment is uh, creating our own atmosphere, so essentially I don't really run out of oxygen. Until power runs out, obviously. <laughs> We've got an artifact to yeah, drop the artifact. We've got skill points. It's great on fire. Okay. Destroy 15 ships. 15 ships? Okay, 15 ships, and then we can fly our new ship. Okay. Vladimir. Vlad, come in. Come in. The eye's gone completely dark. I, I can't reach anyone on the station. Sounds like trouble. Noel, Starborn, came out of nowhere. Vladimir, get out of there. He already left. Said he was going to, uh, to the lodge. Hold on, Vladimir, we're coming for you. Sarah, she's, she's still breathing, but, oh God, all that blood. Hello, Constellation, are you there? 
Who are you? What did you do to our friends? They called me the Hunter. And now that I'm here, your part in glimpsing the unity is over. Stop this, don't mean you any harm. Say goodbye to your friends. It won't be long. Forget about us! That starborn bastard is after the artifacts! You can't let him take them! Pack up the collection, move it somewhere they can't find it! Damn it! Vladimir is right. We need to get the artifacts packed up, and that means holding off the starborn. What about everyone on the eye? We can't leave them to die up there. It might be too late. We need to stay and protect the artifacts. We got this. Just stick together. I don't know how long it's going to take to pack up the artifacts. I... I'll get started. All right. Hopefully this will only take a few minutes if my hands can stop shaking. Take cover, everyone. Where? Do you really expect them to barge through the front door? That's right, Walter. I just need a little time. He's just stopping by for a chat and a pot of coffee. Could you all keep it down? I'm trying to work here. Some throwables here, haven't we? We've got some fragmentation mines, impact grenades, inferno mines. There's ten of them.
We didn't mean any uh, mean to stop on any harm. I was merely taking the shortest path to my destination. But now I think I'll just kick back. Enjoy the long road. Okay, the armory, is that what the artifact is collection is? <laughs> Ah, cheeky, um, cheeky laugh there. Okay. Uh, you want to a purpose to all this. You might have a larger role than I realized. A mistake on my part. Keep collecting the artifacts. We'll meet again. Maybe you'll glimpse the unity yet. Boom. Gone. Alright. Um, Alright, that's right. So we need to go to the eye. Quick. See the damage. Let's go and see what happened. Definitely need med pack. Oh no. Sarah? Come on, Sarah. Talk to me. I'm too late, I'm sorry, Sarah. No, not again. I can't bury another member of Constellation, Sarah. I can't. Don't go. She's... She's gone. No. There's nothing that will change anything now. We should get moving. Right. You're... Come on, I'll have no you No tears for the old. Got the others to worry about. You're right. You're also down here. Dad! The others are here! I really messed up on this one, friend. Don't worry, Sam. Back here, okay? You. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna be moving around too much for a bit. Uh, but I'll be alright. Oh, thank the stars beyond. Uh, Andre Dredger. He came out of nowhere. It's okay, I'm here. Thank you. I don't think I can move right away. But I'll make it. Go on. Vladimir! Oh, thank goodness! Where's Sarah? <gasps> Where's, where, where's Vladimir? <laughs> he's, it, he's all the way over there. It can't be right. This can't be real. We... Uh, we need to talk locks and bolts. Um, Starborn wants the artifact. We need to move them. Got the right of it. The hunter, he... Um... Oh, 
He probably found us because we're somewhere obvious. High populated area, just like how the Starborn found you orbiting Neon the first time. But the fact that they're competing with us to find the artifacts means they can't get them without searching. So we put the artifacts somewhere in the fringe, or on something that can slip from their grasp if they do another strike from the curtain. Uh, keep it on my shirt. Fine idea. Starborn show up, you can burn helium in one spin of the grab drive to anywhere. Here. Keep the artifacts safe. I guess... We'll meet back at the lodge after? Okay, now you can uh, build the... Uh, armillary... On your ship, or as an outpost. Uh, to build the armillary on your ship, go to the armillary screen inside your ship's cockpit. To build the armillary at one of your outposts, go to your outpost and enter the build... Mode. There will be new quests. Uh, category that contains the arm armillary. Okay. Okay. Oh. Activate. Build on that. Okay, leave add artifact and remove our millery. Sweet. Alright, we need to undock. Okay, what do we have next? High price to pay. I found a new home for the artifact. Should I head back to the lodge? I should head back to the lodge, yeah. Should I check with Vladimir to see if he's looking at any more temples? Alright. Well, looks like we've managed to complete uh, No Sudden Moves now. And uh, Deep Cover. Uh, which was a was a side mission. Uh, it was a criminal fleet mission, but uh, something that we had to do. Um, so, next... One is high price to pay and power from beyond. Let's go and check power from beyond. Let's uh, speak to Vlad. We've literally just left him now. Uh... Actually, let's go back to the, uh, the lodge. Turn to New Atlantis. Hey, you got 
four packs, I'll take them. If you're with the press, we have no statements to make about the attack at this time. Not with the press. In the long route to the lodge, but um, we shall get there. If you don't mind, I need some time to think. I wonder if I'll miss you at that time. Sarah Morgan's belongings have been moved to the lodge basement. Can I, I can pick them up again? Mateo. Hold on, there's a number of <laughs> mines I've just dropped along the way. I don't want people to. Uh... I think I have something. I'm serious. He's got a Moby Dick there. Great expectations. Okay. If I may, I know our encounter with the hunter is the last thing anyone wants to talk about right now, but he said something that I can't get out of my mind. Stop. Unity. Yep. Do you remember that? Mm-hmm. Yep. He, uh, he said our part in glimpse, glimpsing the unity was because over. Because he was stopping us, implying that we were getting closer to it. The thing is, I've heard that word before. Oh, yeah? It's an important concept in Keeper Aquilus's speeches. The priest? Is the Sanctum Universum going to bless our little crusade of discovery? It can't be a coincidence. The Sanctum has always believed that answers are out there in the stars. Look... I know it's the longest of shots and the biggest leap of faith I could ever ask us all to take, but why not talk to him? Hey, you're right. It's too big a coincidence not to I try. I don't mind taking a detour to gather data. Only thing we'd lose is time, really. Thank you. I know it's not much to go on, but something about this feels right. I'll meet you over there. Sounds good. No more slides. I've got skill points. God damn it. Let's talk. When you have time, of course. We'll ah. get through this. Can you join me? We're not gonna stop us. I'm not sure when things will feel safer. You ready to head back I out? I have sharpened the blade for this very occasion. Just in case we need it. You two go on. I have academic journals to review. And the galaxy's cheesy as hoagie to devour. Got, An um, interesting mix of activities. I hope they are both enjoyable. Okay. Sweet. There's that empty feeling again.
this is this? Exactly. It's like, like when someone insults you, you want to just beat the shit out of them sometimes, uh, but you don't. Keeper Aquilus, can we have a moment? Ah, oh, Mateo, it's been too long. How are your parents? Your mother's still struggling with that azalea garden? No, she figured that out a while ago. Had to adjust the pH levels in the soil. But, Keeper, I didn't come to catch up. Oh, well, what's on both your minds? We need to talk about unity. Oh, yeah. How humanity comes together. Uh, how we are to love each other, even as our universe becomes even more complex. That's not exactly what we mean. Keeper, when you talk about unity, well, does it mean anything else? Something secret? Perhaps you should talk about this inside. Perhaps. privacy why don't you tell me exactly what it is that brought you to here you saw this going these anomalies they're like nothing we've ever seen keeper gravitational distortion sub audio harmonic sequencing unidentifiable energy fluctuations uh, I caught half of that so these things are unusual even in your experience there have always been mysteries that seem to defy our understanding of the universe. Beyond rational thought, we enter life as an act of someone else's faith in us. There's no way of knowing who we will become, and yet the risk is made anyway. So you've pushed into the unknown, not knowing where it would take you. And it's brought you here. We know it's a stretch, but we hope you can help us. I think I can. If you're willing to find your way in the dark for a bit longer, I can give you a path of discovering its meaning. There's an old story, far older than the Sanctum Universum, of someone who walked the settled systems and saw every corner of it. This pilgrim claimed he found the true meaning of unity. I always thought of it as just a parable for trying to bring humanity together, but maybe it's more. Okay, let's hear the story then. Um, maybe the pilgrim was a starboard. I'm not sure if he was. But if what you're looking for is connected, then anything might be possible. Go. Cool. In my story, the story, the pilgrim met the founders of the House of Enlightenment and the enigmatic cult of the Varun. And he gave them each a part of of the truth. Then he goes to his final resting place to live out the rest of his days in contemplation of infinitum addendum, his addition or contribution to the infinite. But what if the story isn't a metaphor, but a code, a way of finding the pilgrim again, or at least his grave? Okay. Infinitum addendum. That's odd. That's an odd saying. Very specific. Yes. Something must be there. I just can't put my finger on it. Maybe the answer will become clear when we have more. The House of Enlightenment and Varun have versions of this story. Talking to House Varun seems like a mistake. They're dangerous. If you're ready to talk to them, why send me? If you if you if you've already talked to them, why send me? 
Because I wasn't looking to find unity in the same sense you are. Okay. A fresh set of eyes might reveal the truth. Okay. The enlightened work out of the well here in New Atlantis, helping the poorest citizens find a better life for themselves. The rune worshippers are more enigmatic. But there is a lone zealot that was captured recently for attacking UC ships. I visited her a couple of times. Hopefully, she'll be willing to talk to you as well. I'll stay here with the Keeper. We need to catch up. And I wouldn't mind asking him a few more questions. Sounds good. Alright. Um... There's somewhere he's, he's on, Atlant on, on Atlantis. That sounds nice. Hold on, we've got two. Got two uh, targets. Go up to the House of Atlantis and talk with Barrett. Or rendezvous with Astra. Asserta. Uh, talk with Bartender at Viewport. There are so many layers to this. Ah, hold on. Talk to the Varun prisoner. The lodge. So let's head. Hello. Back. That's just the air. Uh... If we can avoid entering that building, I would prefer it. Let us just say I am allergic to bureaucracy. All right, let's go to space ball. Actually, been in this building to be fair. It's the first time I'm inside this one. Oh, there's a whole. So the whole area down here, Look at the restaurants, shops. Okay, House of the Enlightened. Enlightened is not entitled. <laughs> run a number of social programs from financial aid to food max if it's about the financial or food assistance programs we are backlogged don't worry we're doing everything we can oh you're not sorry can i help you he because sent me uh, i need to talk to about pilgrim listen i've talked about this with him a ton of times and there's no record of a unity pilgrim but since you both insist our early records are mostly administrative, humanitarian projects, group counseling notes, charity expenditures. But there is a series of exchanges the founding members recorded in a lot of detail. It's the closest thing I have to what Aquilus is describing. Okay. 
If you're going to recite me the notes, I want coffee and donuts. Uh... A man walks into the first house of enlightenment. The founding members just call him the Drifter. Okay. So they think he's a charity case at first, but no, the Drifter asks them a bunch of questions. If your philosophy is built on an individual's own morality, what about the second person? That second person might disagree. Isn't the problem of two what you're really looking for? And the founders respond, each individual must understand how the second person lifts them up. All of human effort is a story of cooperation pushing us forward. And it kind of goes on like that. He comes back every week for a year. Same conversation every time. Second person this, the problem of do that. Maybe there's a message hidden in what he was saying. Honestly, I think the founding members made it all up. There was a little more hesitation being openly atheist in the early days. I think they were experimenting with writing their own scripture. Fortunately, that got abandoned pretty quick. After the records of the Drifter end, you never see anything like it again. Yeah. Besides what the Keeper would say about it, sounds like a gathering point or a center. Or in mathematics, it would mean one, like the one, the first or the beginning. Thank you. Always happy to help. If you'll excuse me, I've got a lot of aid efforts to coordinate. Oh, hey, actually, hold up one second. You're part of the Enlightened, right? Yeah, little practical aid from your friends in the movement. Okay. Uh, huh. I do odd jobs at even hours. It. I'm not going to show up to work for a week. If my boss is here. Back to Spaceport. I think we'll have to head over to the distribution center, which is the second area of interest. Hopefully we can speak to the prisoner. Why am I in this fighting stance? Let me just go and see him. What? A visitor? I have all the company I need. Uh, you know... Uh, sorry, I know you've talked to Keeper Aquilus about the very He knows very not faith. the truth. He sends another to ask more incessant questions. The Great Serpent waits in the shadows. He will entwine the universe, and all but the faithful will be made as dust. That is the truth. No more, no less. Cosmic Serpent seems like a poor answer to the Universal's problem. I deny it. Keeper Quilla spoke of a pilgrim. I need to know more about him. Yes, I have spoken to your Keeper about this. I will tell you what I told him, and then you will leave me. Okay. Jinan Varun meets the Unbeliever. He gives false prophecy to Jinan. But such is Jinan's conviction in the Great Serpent, he does not hesitate. He cuts the Unbeliever down, but the Unbeliever returns. Jinan realizes the Great Serpent is testing him, and he will not be found wanting. Four times they fight. Over 120 rotations of the planet they are on. Remember these four battles, Jinan, the Unbeliever says. Remember these 120 rotations. But Jinan knows this is blasphemy, and delivers the killing blow. That is all. I need to know the meaning of the word Jinan. I have heard of no such thing. If it exists, it is a shadow that the Great Serpent casts to deceive the Faithless.
Then we are done. Leave me. Keep your nose clean. All right, so let's go back to, to charge you for a DP and A and B, B and E, or heaven for Aquilus. Uh, whoa, hold on a second. I'm going the wrong way. Atlantis puts on a wonderful show of security. back what did you learn was there something hidden in their stories like we thought the enlightened story used the word second and two i spoke to varun zealot she said that Jin fought four times over 120 days. In your story, the Pillar contemplates infinitum addendum. That must be that must mean something. Uh, hmm. Planets are often named by number. That second might mean the second planet in the system. What okay. else did you learn? She said four, four if times there really over 120. is a location the Pilgrim wanted us to find. Those do sound awfully like coordinates. Was there anything else? Uh, in your story, that contemplates infinitum addendum. That must mean something. Yes. What he added to infinity. Maybe that points to a name. If we're looking for his resting place, we'd need to know the name of the star system, wouldn't we? Let's see. We have something that could be coordinates. Something that could point to a planet in the system. But what's the name of the system? Infinitum addendum. What if we break down the parts? No systems named finite or add. That just leaves in and dumb. Hmm. <laughs> well, that's certainly how I feel. In them, that's... That's the name of the star system. Yes, that's it. The second planet in Indum. At four and one hundred twenty. That's where you'll find the pilgrim's resting place. And from there, maybe you'll find the true meaning of unity. Before you go, you've now spoken to many different perspectives in our universe. In a way, you'll be carrying their philosophies with you on this journey. I know you're looking for a specific unity, but if you had to guess what it was, what interpretation would you give it? Oh, for crying out loud! Uh, there's something sacred out there, bringing it together, bringing everything, bringing everything together. Uh, it's just a word. I need to take a responsibility of finding out, not prayer. Um, only total conviction will bring us the truth. We are being tested, okay, the first one. Ah, but what makes something like that holy? Gravity is also a force that brings things together. 
Sure. That is true. Yes, gravity is a miracle, just like in life itself. No, that is just a natural force. Unity is something greater. Isn't it already uh, sanctified? Doesn't sanctum doesn't the sanctum have grav pilgrims? It is one of the great contradictions of belief. We feel the presence of something out there, but we insist that it is also everywhere. everywhere. Mm -hmm. So, you think this word unity describes that divine unknowableness that the pilgrim searched for? Well, I won't keep you any longer. This has been fun, I have to admit. Go, find your truth. Alright, Father Aquila, see you later. Second planet. Pilgrim's Rest. Ah, oh, for crying out loud. Right, let's, uh, Spaceport.
what wonders of life this planet hosts. All right. Um, we're going to leave it there. We have a wonderful new mission ahead of us. So um, before we start this new one, we're going to uh, catch up in the next one in the next video. So if you're new to the video, please do. Uh, sorry, if you're new to the channel, please do leave a like on the video. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button because it helps the channel out a hell of a lot. Also, don't forget to hit the bell icon to get notified when the next time I upload a video on the series. But in the meantime, I'm gonna leave you, love you, and leave you guys, and uh, yeah, we shall catch up in the next one. Cheers, guys.